Hello, it's Dean P back again. Today I'm going to review another film on Hashtag Haley Movie Club. Now, the film we're going to review this week is from 1993. Yeah, that's the year I was born. So, this film sort of, I grew up watching this film a lot uh, throughout my lifetime. It's an action film, since that's the genre this month we are looking at. Oh, sorry, as Mr. Hayes Brett puts it as action because this film is also a sci-fi film, it's a sci-fi action film, it is Demolition Man, featuring Stallone and the Wesley Snipes. Now, Simon St uh, Sylvester Stallone plays John Spartan, and John Spartan is a ruthless cop who will do anything to get his man, and his man is played by Wesley Snipes, who is called Simon Phoenix. Now, Simon Phoenix is a ruthless killer, uh, a very mad person who just wants to commit crime all the time and so he decides so he ha and he's kidnapped this busload of people at the beginning in 1996 and he John Spartan tries to stop him in which and when which ends up with John Spartan and Simon Phoenix both being arrested and cryogenically frozen. Now this Sound may sound familiar, a storyline as the as a sort of rip off of the as the first Austin Powers film is a very big rip off of this film, sort of spoof of this film, of the main sort of storyline, starting storyline of this film. But anyway, in the in two thousand and thirty two that we jump so many years in the future, we jump even past now. Simon Phoenix manages to escape this prison and the only person that can stop him is John Spartan. So he's let right out on temporary parole to become a cop in the 2020, uh, 2032 to stop Phoenix once again. And he does this with the help of Sandra Bullock who plays Le Lena Huxley. Now Sandra Bullock, most people now think of Sandra Bullock as the sort of, or I always thought of Sandra Bullock, when I think of Sandra Bullock I think Miss Congeniality, and that sounds like a chick flick, but really if you think about it, she plays a lot of action heroes. She is in Speed, she's in this, and even Miss Congeniality is pretty actionly, and that new film she's in Heat, I've not seen it, but as far as I know, she plays the cop, the action hero cop in it, but I may be wrong, tell me if I'm wrong down below. But basically, he hunt, Spartan has to hunt down Phoenix in this film and try and stop him before he destroys this utopia and uh, that has been set up in 2000, 2032. That's what I'm going to tell you, because if I tell you more, it will spoil the film, and I don't want to give you too many spoilers, because if you haven't seen this film, I suggest you go and watch it. This is my, I, I wouldn't say this is my favourite with Night film because I really like Blades, I like all three of the Blades and I like Mike, White Men Can't Jump and I love New Jack City. This is probably after New Jack City and White Men Can't Jump. This comes in here so it comes in in a, a, fourth, a fourth, fifth place. And as Stallone, this is actually my, f in the middle, third, second favourite film after First Blood, then... Cobra and I love this film as well. This film I've watched all my life. Obviously, as I said, it came out in 2003. It came out in 1983, same year I was born. I was only a couple of months old when this film came out. Came out in October of 1983, and I was also just I was a couple of months old, so I didn't really start watching this film as a kid. I remember watching it as I got older, about five years old. My father stuck it on for me, my dad stuck it on, and I fell in love with the film. And from then on, I've watched it all the time. I only recently I got a DVD at Christmas there, and I've watched it just about three or four times since Christmas. And when Miss Harry Brett announced this was the film this week, I got a little bit excited. <laughs> and I was like, yes, that means I get to, that means I actually have a reason to go out and watch Demolition Man. Now, I'm going to say this a lot during this month, because it is Action Month. I love action films, action films have always been the genre of film I've kind of been brought up watching. So there's a kind of a high chance I'm going to say this is my favourite film quite a lot. So just telling you right now that there 
I will say this is my favourite film. It's, I wouldn't say Dead Rising 1 is my favourite film. It's certainly not in my top 10, but in my top 20, yes. In my top 10 action films, it's, it's in the top 10, certainly, after Terminator 2. And I have a feeling we might actually do Terminator, so let me know, Alan. Please, can we do Terminator 2? Can we do Terminator? Can we do anything? Because if you're doing action films, I've done Army. It's, 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 it's their own mentions Army in this film. That's the best line, and I never noticed it. <laughs> I'd watched this film many, many times, and I know in every Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sloan film, they always mention each other in it. And this film makes a joke of Arnold Schwarzenegger has become president, and yeah, <laughs> I know he was. This is before he even became the governor, or the governor. This is before then. Sorry for that horrible, horrible accent. I, I feel I'm very ashamed of myself. But yeah, this is before he became the governor, and he they predicted that he's going to become the prime minister or the whatever the president of the United States and <laughs> yeah it was quite a funny scene but yeah I this film I, it's been a very short review a very rubbish review I have to say I'm very I'm sorry if you're bored already but yeah this film is a great film if you haven't seen it go out and watch it it's all I can kind of tell you about this film it's a simple film it's not much thinking involved you know you just know it's one of the films you watch and you know that's not going to happen, this is going to happen and this is going to happen. You know everything, you know how it's going to fall in place and you don't watch it to guess how it ends because, yeah, it's obvious. But yeah, go out, watch it. I would give this film certainly a 4, probably even a 4.5, yeah, 4.5 for this film. It's not as good as a 5, but 4.5, certainly. Go out and watch it. Go go now. Go watch it now. And I'll see you next time with another review. Or another vlog. Depends what I'm going to do. I've got a feeling I might go do a vlog. Really after I hit stop. I'll do another recording of another thing. Do a vlog. So keep an eye out for that. And remember go out check out Mr. Haley Club's Mr. Haley Brett's channel. Link down below. Click up the top. Also put hashtag Haley Movie Club. Followed by Demolition Man, just like what's in my title. And you will find everybody else who have done a review for this film. And what what better advice, I would go check them out because they are a lot better than me. They know what they're talking about with films. I just ramble on about films I like or if I don't like. And this film, I find it hard to review a film I really like. So this review has been a bit dodgy. So yeah, sorry if, it's, if you're bored with this review. I know it's been a bad one. But review anyway so cheers for tuning in and I'll see you later.